Denver Broncos Mile High View. No commercials, no bullshit. The only Broncos slash NFL channel that serves up hard cold facts like hard liquor. And we don't have any Kool-Aid to wash it down with. So if you want to really know what's going on with the Broncos and not some fairy tale, then uh, this is definitely the place that you want to be. And not only the Broncos, but other aspects of the NFL as well. So uh, today's uh, program, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, the NFL and uh, where PR is more important than uh, players that can actually play. And I want to talk about the Mile High uh, time machine, which has come up from time to time, pun intended. Uh, we went to mini camp, or mini camp. We went to training camp, went in the future and went to training camp. And we will tell you exactly what all eight platforms are going to report on. So they don't have to. They can just all meet a DNVR and have beer and just uh, pat themselves on the back for, uh, you know, fabricating, you know, whatever fairy tale that they they want to give you uh concerning uh the training camp so today or uh excuse me not today this week uh i went and joined a Bengals forum by the way what i didn't mention to them is i actually know Bengals fans and uh <laughs> they definitely wouldn't have uh agreed to uh where this moderator you know, it's it's really funny how those controlling the levers, it's almost like a Wizard of Oz kind of effect, you know, a, a guy behind the, the curtain. So I, I, I post, I talk about, this is the interesting thing. Before I went to the forum, uh, I talked on last week that if I was Jesse Bates' um, agent, that I would definitely go to the front office with the ESPN article and uh say what the hell is this as it turned out jesse bates did go <laughs> to the front office and said what the fuck is going on and then during you know going and looking in cincinnati's uh, some of their the write-ups that were going on then their front office is like yeah they're, they're, the espn doesn't say you're you're the best Something to this uh, agree that media is not giving you. So why should we? So I I thought yeah this this ESPN you know uh, Justin Simmons is just you know lights out very well for somebody like uh, Cincinnati an organization that hey we don't have to pay you and Jesse Bates of course is like well all I did was you know as a safety is get you guys to the playoffs then to the Super Bowl <laughs> that's all I did. This other guy here, I mean, yeah, he's got all these sports writers and, uh, oh, coaches and players. I don't know what, Jeff Fisher and I don't know what pl player, Warren Moon or something. I mean, John Elway. I mean, what, 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 play for, I mean, players. But I've asked this question. It's come up. It's, um, you know, when the moderator, it's funny. When I, when I posted, I had talked about quarterbacks being uh overpaid and because there seem to be that this they're trying to lead fans over in cincinnati land see this is all important dude. there's a bigger picture. this is bigger picture stuff here this isn't just about the Bengals, the broncos the nfl big picture stuff here uh because it seems you know as you know i think we've done a great job into uh exposing that the NFL and their PR, it's not just Bronco PR, but NFL, it's all, it's all hype. It's all, um, uh, excuse me, it's a part of its hype. But a lot of it is, is uh, impressions. A lot of it is perception, perception management. I just want to go off Tangela. Von Miller, he, he went off script. He, he was, you know, going to the beat of his own drum. And it seems like uh, 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 we groom this guy that really... It's almost like an imposter out there playing safety. But he, he's, he reads all the scripts perfectly, says all the things Elway wants to say, the NFL. I mean, he's not Von Miller in that regard where he goes and talks to Oakley Doakley Stokely and says, you know, just I don't want to even be here with you people. I wouldn't want to be. I, I totally got that. You know, I was in his camp with that. I wouldn't want to be talking to those two spin doctors, you know, guys that throw people under, go, yeah, then throw them under the bus constantly. So anyway, so again, bigger picture stuff, you know, it seems to me that the NFL is more interested in perception management 
So they, it's like we will allow a guy that can play to just be chopped liver. And, well, if he gets paid, he gets paid. If he doesn't, he does. And, and we're going to promote people that will toe the co- corporate line. So the NFL corporate line. So I, I post on this and talk about overpaying quarterbacks because what it seemed to be is that somebody posted, an actual Cincinnati Bengal fan posted like, why the fuck aren't we paying this guy, this this um, this lights out safety? What's going on here? And it seems like there's a, a narrative somewhere coming on their side. Like, sounds like the Broncos. Well, we can let him go and just get good enough, you know, just get good enough. And and uh, you know, and I brought up we 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 we're all okay with paying these quarterbacks the king's ransom, and now throw in a wide receiver, the queen's the queen's ransom. How do you expect these guys to function? How do you expect them to, to function when they, you know, they have just good enough? You're just happy to be in a playoff if you stumble into a playoff situation. So I, I just, it's this grooming, this idea that we've got to turn quarterbacks into Disney princesses. Oh, and it's it's okay to to pay. So I bring all that up and. Uh, What's the one thing that this guy wants to talk about, the, the Cincinnati Bengal Forum? He wants to keep the corporate narrative. You know, he, he fuck Jesse Bates, his own player, right? Fuck him. Uh, we're going to push the media. We want, we, you know, we got to at all costs worship the media. You know, I've lost so much respect for ESPN, PFF, especially, I mean, PFF coming out and saying that Juwan James was an A plus plus. When a lot of us said you're out, you're you're on crack. Do you think that? And it just turns out that it's just all you know. Who's paying the piper here? Who's you know? It's just like, are they, you know? Obviously they're getting paid to write stuff, okay. But what I asked this guy, like I've asked all the detractors that come here, I asked them. Uh, to explain to me, if ESPN, to their claim, says they have all these coaches and players voting for Justin Simmons as the number one safety, if that's actually true, why then does that not pass the eyeball test when the Pro Bowl, none of them voted for He was snubbed for good reason, because I brought up to the Cincinnati fans, and they know, I said, "Look look at this game. You guys were relentlessly going at it. The guys turned around and, I don't know, giving up 75-yard plays. But I can show you 10, 10 games where he's he, – same thing. He's getting beat over the top. He's not anywhere where he's supposed to be. And that's what passes now as number one safety. When we had Louis Wright, we had Brian Dawkins. You talked about uh, all that. Uh, Dennis Smith, we had um, uh, Steve Atwater. I mean, we know what good safety safety play is. OK. And we could go on and on. Uh, 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 the guy from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that came over, he's with the running the uh, player personnel, I think, over at San Francisco now, John Lynch. So, I mean, we, we've, we've been down this road. We, we know what it's like. I, I mean, it does. And we've had people that said, OK, we'll take your challenge. In, with with no bias, and we'll take a look and see. If you guys are correct about this, so we will watch film. There's people that actually watch them say, you know, my God, you guys are right. You challenged me to look. You know, I really never was paying all that much. I just knew he wasn't anything, Simmons wasn't anything special. And I took a look and I was just floored just how, how bad he was, how bad he is. It's just, it jumps out. Just like Bates being as good as he is jumps out. And you see why he brought the team to the, but I just, I just felt it really interesting that, you know, as fans were being, you know, told to accept just good enough, let good players walk. It seems like now it's more endemic, uh, endemic everywhere. It's not maybe just the Broncos. However, nobody has a situation like the Broncos where you have the ego, you know, playing owner, playing, you know, head coach and everything else. Now there is some sort of accountability, but uh, anyway, I, that's my nine-minute, five-minute spiel here. I don't know. I, my eyesight's a little blurry on my clock. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll let you let you go ahead. 
Well, uh, I don't understand why people have a hard time accepting the fact that Jesse Bates is better than Justin Simmons. The film backs it up, and even the uh, well, real Cincinnati. But, I'll assure you, real Cincinnati fans don't feel that way. There's this moderator who doesn't even want to address it. Well, it's not just the moderator; it's it's fans around the National Football League that you know want to go along with what ESPN says and Pro Football Focus says and. The own, the, own, the own Denver Bronco fans that follow the eight channels that tell you the same thing each and every year that Justin Simmons is the best safety in the league. He's not the best safety in the league. I, I've shown film after film on that this offseason, proving once again why you should have never gave him that money. Uh, <clears throat> how much against the cap? Tell, tell everyone how much against the oh, cap. $29 million against the cap this year? That's it for him. Dead cap money. That's third highest on the team. You don't want to. You want to know who's ahead of him? Garrett Bowles. <laughs> you can't even make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. We are rewarding bad players for bad play on the field. I don't care what you say about uh, Justin Simmons. He sucks. He sucks. Well, I, and Garrett Bowles made his big leap when they stopped talking. Remember the Chicago game. Yeah. Where the, the defensive end was so – I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It just felt Khalil, sorry for him. Khalil Mack with the Chicago Bears, you just owning him. Well, but he felt sorry. He actually felt sorry for him. It's like, you know, I, I'm i sorry, but, you know – and he just, like, looked at the ref. It's like, you know, maybe you shouldn't call these – it just got so out of hand. And then they – you know, we have fans from other teams so pissed off because they're not calling – Play, the, the penalties they're supposed to be calling on Garrett Bowles, they're making films of it. We posted I, it. We posted it. Yeah. Yep. Those are that's real journalism there. You know. You know, it seems to me the NFL is just turning into something of more of a. It's more now. It's not even about what it used to be. It's more about. You know maybe political correctness to some degree, agendas, and it's just not about, it seems like, football anymore. It's all political now. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why somebody like Simmons, who's great as a PR, I mean, yeah, he's, I can't knock him for that. I mean, he knows how to give a good speech. He knows how to read the script. He doesn't go off track like Von Miller. I mean, he's he's their boy. But I don't want that. I want a guy who could actually back up his what he's saying on the field. You know, if you're going to come out and say all this great stuff about yourself, about, oh, I have all these accolades, right? You you just don't, you don't, I think it's a lot, here's here's what it is. I think it has a lot to do more with uh, player entitlement than anything. You know, when I was growing up watching Brian Dawkins, uh, TJ Ward, uh, you know, guys like that, Champ Bailey, you know, guys that understood how to play football, they weren't entitled. They weren't entitled. Well, they, they, let me, let, can, it, can you yeah. define entitled? Is entitled, is that, hang on a second, is, is entitled mean you're a front office boy? You're a, you're the front office boy? Yeah, Care you, less about you, your, you your, get special privileges while other players get shown the door and go play elsewhere and actually succeed. That's what oh, I mean. Uh, Jesse Bates, perhaps. And, oh, well, well not, let's just bring up our own players, for example. A la Isaiah McKenzie. A la Khalif Raymond. A la, you know, who else is out there? Uh, oh, Danny, look at our, our uh, Danny, right tackle. Our current, yeah, our new right Danny, tackle. Danny Gervaisen. Danny Gervaisen is another one of them. Okay? Our Mal- current right tackle that we just got. Turner. Yeah, Turner. Who, who went on Cody Rourke's... Uh, not Billy Turner, uh, Matt McChesney went to Cody Rourke and said, you know, there's special players I get special treatment, and then there's players I actually deserve that. I They're so- hated. So he said hated, actually yeah. hated. Yeah. Yeah, why do you – and that, that's play, player entitlement. That, that, that's Elway. That's an Elway-run organization. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, yeah, they're going to put uh... – they're going to put butts in seats uh, because Russell Wilson's here. But uh, it's just like this Cleveland Brown fan, which is laughing about it. I mean, he's, he said, we got our own problems for sure. But, 
he said, uh, he said, oh yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's going to wave magic wands over there, and all that wonderful player personnel you have is going to magically turn there are pumpkins or you know turning into carriages and you know all that fairy godmother stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, this, th- yeah, d- yeah, it, it, it's one of the. It, I knew once we got Russell Wilson, it'd be cranked up tenfold this off season, just because we got Russell fucking Wilson. Poor but guy. also, also guy. Uh, I just, I, I've never seen people defend bad player personnel in my time being a Denver Bronco fan. And I, I've been through some bad times, even in the Pat Bullen days, there, there were some bad times there where you had to sit there and you're like, holy shit, this is bad. But the difference between what Pat Bullen did and John Elway did is he actually went out and corrected it, not fucking stick with the same stigma bullshit. Well, he didn't even put out PR. He didn't have eight channels. He didn't pay eight channels of people that say, oh, we're doing a great job at Dove Valley. Don't, don't trust your lying eyes. Don't look. Don't, don't, don't look. We're doing just believe. You have you have fucking you have these eight channels that think that Randy Gregory was a home run move. <laughs> Gregory, what? Who? What? Oh, I wanted them all along. I wanted them all along. Where, where's Randy Gregory been? In the hot tub. In the hot tub, right? Like I said from the beginning, that this guy's gonna revert back to what he is. He's a hot tub time machine. You go get Quan Williams, who is a guy that. Uh, Quite frankly, on film, looks like a shell of himself. Top five, I think, for sure. Oh, yeah. Alex Singleton looks... He's top not a five. Top five. Well, he's not a 3-4 inside linebacker. He's a 4-3 off-ball linebacker. And you're now you're putting players in... La, 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 I know, right? Yeah, I want to do an area. But just answer the question. Um, <laughs> uh, you didn't answer that. Yeah, yeah, he didn't answer the question, but you're just uh, the chickens will come home to roost like always, and we'll just be sitting here and saying again, Russell Wilson. I believe this is a two year thing with him, and he'll go somewhere like the Giants or the Eagles when the team's built around him, and he'll have success or the Saints or wherever he wants to go. Giants, he, it, this is a two year thing, in my personal opinion. You know, they're freaking out that he hasn't signed this long-term deal. Why do you think that is? He's probably waiting to meet with the owner. Yeah, you got to meet with the owner. But, I, I mean, I said uh, on that uh, – I said to Bengals fan that uh, Russell Wilson best test drive the Denver Broncos before, you know, getting into a financial quagmire that we won't ever be able to get out. 250 mil contracts. Uh, he better test drive that uh, that clunker out. And uh, I mean, I'll test drive fucking Justin Simmons out of town, and I'll take Jesse Bates any day. Jesse oh Bates- yeah, that's what I said. I said to the guy, oh, 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 well, oh, but, oh. I said you like Simmons so much, fucking, I'll 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 help pack Simmons' bags. He can go to Cincinnati. Absolutely, take his twenty nine million dollar cap hit. Yeah. We'll pay. We'll pay Jesse Bates. If, I mean, since we're paying, we'll pay the guy. At least he can play. We know he can play. We we don't have to sit there and find on film where where are these breakups at that they're talking about? Where where are they? I have I mean, that was what else I asked. I said where are they besides Detroit, besides the Jets, you know, maybe Dallas. Besides those three games, where was he breaking anything up? And not nobody showed a shred of film. Except that well, Kansas City, that one Kansas City play. Well, again, I had a I had a commenter who came on and said, uh, "Well, he he was playing cover one a lot against Travis Co." Do you not realize that Bates was playing cover one when I showed film? Mika Fitzpatrick was playing cover one. Derwin James and uh, Marcus Williams. We're playing yeah, cover. Where are they? They're all they're, over the place. All over the field. Go ahead. They're all over where they're supposed to be. And guess what? If an error and throw, it ends up being an incomplete pass because they're not just sitting out no man's land, hiding, trying to avoid contact. And oh wow, you know, I got this. Yeah. Didn't bait anybody. Wasn't running. Wasn't trying to break anything up. When I got, I said, 
okay, remember it was eight. Remember Wano Wano and eight, it, eight interceptions. And they, they tried to tell us eight interceptions, and in reality it was five. And if, if you look at, at any of the five, they're all Aaron throws. They're, they're, he's not baiting anybody. He's not trying to break a pass up in any of these. He's just out like a cow in pasture in no man's land, catching some errant throw that a, that a quarterback made. And, and it's like, you know, they give you that step, but they don't give you the context. And then they show you the 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 breakup with Mahomes or whatever it was. The, uh, I don't know if it was an INT or a, a breakup. Uh, no. What's that? That was years ago. I thought it was last season. Oh, one or two years ago. Like, are we still going to... You know well, what? it's not even the point. If you watch what? that same, if you watch that same game that they highlight, they sh- you see uh, Simmons clear the area. They bring in the receiver. He catches the touchdown where where Simmons was supposed to be. That same game, the same game. They don't, they don't mention that one. <laughs> how, how do you like getting spiked? Love it. Yeah. Yeah, your your vaccinated uh, people out there that you uh, know uh, brought it home, br- brought it home to roost. Yeah, yeah, I like how that works too. I love That's it. What happened here too makes life so much easier. Yeah, yeah, it does. But yeah, the, that that play. Well, why are we continue? You know, the, the 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 players that I bring up, they're making plays each and every year, and then you have Simmons in no man's land. Catching air interceptions from uh, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick and Jalen Hurts and uh, guy uh, Zach 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 Wilson uh, the Redskins Taylor Heineke like like oh wow like that that's gonna get me that's gonna get me so pumped up when he's doing that against lesser competition teams once once or twice a game. And then you have Jesse Bates, who's making it plays in the playoffs against Patrick Mahomes and a better player personnel team in the Chiefs. Multiple plays, multiple plays, multiple plays that end up getting that. That was the final uh, play he made uh, was the nail in the coffin for the Chiefs. Got him into the Super Bowl, like I said. So he goes to the front office and says, "You know, all I did, all I did was get you to the Super Bowl. That's all I did is to save me. You know, my part." Oh, no, no, ESPN, no, 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 no. All these mysterious players and coaches that miraculously didn't vote Simmons into the playoffs or, or into the Pro Bowl. He's and then you, then you have DMVR with their fucking beer, being all cocky as they are, saying, oh, I'm not surprised Justin Simmons. I love all oh, God, I love him, I love him. I just love riding up and down on that, oh, yeah. You like riding that cock, don't you? Oh, just riding up and down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did. I was really surprised. I was shocked. Oh, really? You're shocked that sports riders would ride them in? As well, it's one? not just they were shocked. They, they came across cocky when they were saying, oh, we're so shocked that he's number one. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. You guys don't even know what great safety play looks like. You guys, you guys, you guys. Well, look just- at our empty stats or, or contextless stats. Breakups. I want to see those. I want to see those twelve breakups. Was it twelve? Twelve. Yeah, I want to see those twelve breakups. I mean, I know he's being targeted, but uh, his area is being targeted. But I want to see. I, I mean, I like I, don't I said, stand for the an excuse where he gets beat over the top, and then people say he was doing the correct thing there. How the hell was he doing the correct thing? If he was doing the correct thing, he wouldn't have been beaten over the top. Yeah. Well, big game. You know, that's what that's what we are. We're a losing. We we are a losing organization for a reason. Yeah. It, that's that's what it's come down to. Yeah, because we support shit like that. I know. I know. Just good enough. Just good enough. So, speaking of just good enough, I stepped into my time machine. I went and watched training camp. I got in there and I watched training camp and. So, boys and girls, let me tell you what the eight channels are going to report. I saw it with my own my own eyes. Greg Dolchich is unstoppable. Okay, he is unstoppable. That's that's um, you're getting it here first, exclusive. He's unstoppable. Uh, get the gold jacket ready. Uh, 
turning uh, Singletary, uh, Singleton around, Jesse Bates around, uh, go, getting beating, get, beating Simmons over the top. And not only that, he's a blocking machine. Just a, I mean, Draymond Jones, he was helpless against against uh, Dulcich. It just couldn't get around. It was more of that. And Dulcich just, oh, just with one hand. So Dulcich, this is going to be the Dulcich training camp extravaganza. I'm telling you, you just get that gold jacket. Look out, Kelsey. Look out, Gronk. It's Dulcich 24-7. In this year's 2022 training camp, does that surprise you? Uh, no, because Locked On Broncos was saying the exact same thing. They no did. way! I don't even watch their stuff. They 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 came out. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, honestly, I don't. I don't even don't look at their stuff. Don't watch their stuff. I uh, oh, the great this Dulcich. guy does. I, I just I can't do it. Great Dulcich uh, is their number one tight end going into training camp. So. <laughs> Yeah, number I know. Look out! There is no other tight end on the on the Broncos roster. That sucks. So you know, I want you. You know what I'd like, and if I just wish Madden, could, but even in Madden twenty two, they get so ridiculous. Is that every? I want Dulcich as a quarterback. I want him as the offensive line. I want him. I want him as the defensive line. The say. I want him. I just want Dulcich. I mean, please give me more Dulcich. More Dulcich, huh? More uh, Dulcich, yeah. The guy, the guy that was the third tight end taken in this past draft, who wasn't considered the best tight end in his own class. You know, and, if, if, yeah. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just saying that it's just because it's just like the Gregory thing, you know. Uh, you know, Gregory, who I love him, I love him, I love him. I've always wanted him. I always. It was the same thing with Dulcich. I mean, when you were reading the the write ups, and I haven't had, I haven't had chance to really go myself to look at the film but reading the write-ups granted again it's write-ups I, you know we will get accused well you're going with write-ups uh, uh, doesn't really isn't consistent pass catcher not a great blocker by any stretch and is easily brought down for a guy his size is i mean like i said i just i haven't seen it but I'm sure we're gonna get it, gonna get here about you know his gold jacket uh, waiting for him at uh, week one. By the way, by the way, training camp is actually off season playoffs. You do know that, right? Yeah. And I think the Broncos also what I what I saw. I'm really the Broncos are going to be 21 and zero this off season. 21 yeah. wins. Yeah, we're going to the we're going to the uh, training camp Super Bowl. Absolutely. I, like I said, got to give me nine, Russ. Get nine this season. We're going to have a big parade. Yeah. They're going to have uh, at uh, Dove Valley headquarters, they're going to have uh, horse thunder, and they're going to have their own parade there at the Dove Valley parking lot. Yeah, you can come. We got Kool-Aid, lots of it. Come on down. Nine wins. With, Super with, Bowl. The, with the sports riders with their beer. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, sports right. This is definitely a monumental event. They, yes, we're. This is the next step. Yeah. Next step. Next step. It's the next step. They've taken that neck. Don't listen to any of this negative. It's the next step. They did exactly what they said. We never said anything about Super Bowls. No. We said next step. <laughs> you know, we could we could actually write this. We could. You know, we're always ahead of these guys. You know. Yeah. This is like this uh, Dulcich thing. I, uh, and I, honestly, I've never, I don't watch uh, DNVR and, or Mile High, whatever, and, and uh, the bubble and whatever else is out there. But they're so predictable. I mean, no negativity here. Plenty of Kool-Aid, no hard liquor. So, yes, it's going to be a Dulcich, Dulcich, maybe a burrito here and there. We'll get throw a burrito at you. Justin Simmons for sure. Russell Wilson. Well, Russell Wilson, you know, just torching Simmons, but don't. Ah. <laughs> yeah. No, so no, no. They'll throw. They'll throw a purposeful interception right to Jim. <laughs> well, that would be apropos to uh, a floater. Oh, look at this! He's going to the. He's going to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, top top five all time. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh. God. All I mean, it's just good enough. Let Bates go. We just need good enough. We just need good enough. So that's, you, 
And I told him, I said, you don't want to go down that road. Trust me. No, we, me, me and this guy live it every day with this bullshit team. So. Yeah. Oh, they're so negative. They're so negative. Oh, yeah, totally. So negative. We're just, getting, we're just bracing for impact, you know. Yeah, well, I'm just waiting at this point. I mean, I don't. Another year, the same old bullshit. It's funny. I mean, like I said, it's funny. People I talk to, I believe that I'm sure that there are people from around the league that are dumb enough to think the Broncos are a quarterback way. I'm not counting that out. But everybody I talk to, it's just like, they're like, yeah, we're Russell Wilson. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Just give me nine, Russ. Just give me nine, Russ. Give me nine. Oh, I need nine. Just get nine. Gotta have nine. If he doesn't get nine, ooh, ooh. Not good, Russ. Yep, and they're gonna run him at it. Oh, Aaron Rodgers was playing A all along. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. We never said we never were we were never on the Russell Wilson band. You know it is set up for that. It's set up like I see it, even on the national, like if even see, you sent me a link. If this doesn't work out, it's Russell Wilson. Like, okay, I want to just say this. If this goes the way me and you think it's going to go, the way it, the history shows it's going to go, I don't want to hear all this Russell Wilson talk. I, I, There comes a point. They're going to do it. There comes a point. You have to start blaming the organization. When you go through the quarterbacks John Elway has gone through, you have to at some point. Say, you know, you had you had the creme de la creme, and you killed him. At some point, the organization needs a clear out, a clean out. It is on the organization, and that's where I think your two years comes in. Yeah, I think once reality sets in, where this team really is, versus teams that don't need the PR bullshit that just go out and take care of business. I think that that's going to be it for the, the front office. I think that's they're on their last. I think we're at the twilight of their their time there. I agree. And it's just going to be really interesting if uh, it's going to be really interesting if they Russell Wilson is dumb enough to sign up for all that money when he can get it anywhere. The money isn't the, the money will be there for him. I mean, they have built this house of princess quarterback princesses. The money isn't the question. It's just like, where where ultimately do you want to go? I mean, do you want to get stuck here in a quagmire financially where you can't bring in anybody? You know, some. I mean, these teams right now, I mean, they said that right off the bat, all these uh, superstars were going to come here and just forego their income and, and for a Super Bowl, which never happened. We said it wouldn't happen. Of course, they don't want to say we were right. Never that. <laughs> oh, nope. Never happened. So I don't think that's going to happen down the road. Why ELC is going to have to go somewhere where it, they're already established. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's the plan for what's going to happen in two years. Now. I, think that, I think that the Giants are a prime destination for uh, Russell Wilson because they're building the team right first. Trying to anyway. Well, they are. Well, they got they they went out and got people that know what they're doing. That's a that's a well, start. They the bills they brought in the bills, front know, front people. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I got something going here. NFL training camp. NFL. Because I don't get time before I go on to do stuff. Because I got ten thousand things I got to do after this. Well, it's like the Raiders, Bills. They've already uh, have the rookies report to training camp. So we're we're in we're in training camp. We're right at the cusp of training camp. Yeah. So I'm sure those dulcage reports are going to be coming in pretty soon. Yeah, I'm waiting for them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, gold jacket time for sure. Well, I know this is kind of short. We don't have really a whole lot going on. What, tell me the things that are on your mind. 
Um, like, what do I have for future projects or what? Whatever. Well, I'll just do more of my uh, 2023 draft stuff on my channel. I yeah, they're all offensive line, defensive line. They're not quarterbacks. <laughs> that sucks. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, I really, I really don't care. I, I just been not. Uh, I got spiked, so I haven't been able to do stuff the past few days. Been, you know, when you, when you get spiked from a vaccinated person, it sucks, and I hope no one experiences it. But most people are gonna experience it. It fucking sucks. I'm still recovering. I'm yeah, almost they didn't spike anybody. They spiked me. You know, they, remember that yeah. was all fake news. Oh no, no, they're gonna get you sick. No, <laughs> everybody I know that hasn't got it, got it sick from those people. Everyone it's, I've known. It sucks. I'm telling you guys, it, it sucks. I, I, it sucks. I, I'm still getting back to the swing of things, but I'm still not there yet. I'm, I'm almost there. I can feel I'm almost 100. percent But and it's, it's interesting it, that Vax person, uh, he, they're still sick. I think, right? You said they're, they're still pretty sick. Yeah, right? Somewhat, yeah. They were but, sick for a lot, a lot longer than you were. Oh yeah, yeah. So. It's great. It's a great feeling. Yeah, I had to go through that too. It was brought home too. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's bad. That's bad that you're bringing it up. Well, it's what happened. That's all I can do. Tell you what happened. <laughs> That's what happened. Don't get the shot. And a 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 shot. And get a shot. all the shots. Shot. Get all the shots. Oh yeah, yeah. And then some. And then more. Yeah. Yeah, just be a human pin cushion. Well, on that merry note, is there anything else that... Uh, That's it for me, just waiting for the Greg Dulcich reports. I'm waiting for that first article to drop from uh, one of these eight platforms. Oh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be the talk of the town. Yeah. Dulcich, oh, you just don't worry. Oh, man, it just, he's primed, he's primed, he's primed. Next those, other good, those other players that actually are good, yeah, well, we'll tie in, whatever. They, yeah. Yeah. Just the Elway players. We'll just hype them up. Yeah. <coughs> All right. You take care of your Rona. All right. All right. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.